Hey guys, let's talk about the one problem that I know you're gonna have on your test and that's calculating acreage into square footage and square footage into acreage. And yes, I really owe my math teachers in high school a apology because I told them I would never be using any of this stuff in real life and 20 years later I've been using this one nearly every day of my life and I even use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out a weird oblong side of a lot that had a mysterious number attached to it. So I'm sorry Miss Wheelis and Mrs. Clark from high school. I am using this stuff so thanks and I'm sorry that I um, had it was a terrible student. Anyway, all right so one acre we need to remember this number one acre equals 43,560 square feet. Here's how we can remember that number. Four little old ladies on I-35 going an annoying 60 miles per hour. Four old ladies on I-35 going 60 miles per hour. 43,560, you gotta memorize it. You're gonna be using it the rest of your sales life. All right, so remember, if they're asking you to go from acreage to square feet, we're going to multiply. If they're asking you to go from square feet to acreage, we're going to divide, okay? If we're going from large to small, we're dividing. If we're going from small to large, number, multiply, okay? So, let's take this first one. A farmer owns 11.5 acres. We want to know how many total square feet that is. That's a lot of square feet. So we are using our 43,560, but since we are going from 11.5 to finding out the big number of how many square feet, we are going to multiply. So 11.5 times 43,560 equals, holy shnikes, Half a million acres, 500,000 acres, 940. 500,940 square feet, sorry. 500,940 square feet are in 11 and a half acres. And we multiply 11 and a half times 43,560 square feet to get 500,940. Now, our second question is going from the big square feet down to the small acre number. So we're going to divide. 653,400 square feet is what the farmer owns. How many acres now does he own? So going from big number to small number, we're gonna divide. 653,400, and we're going to divide it by 43,560. Okay, so 653,400, sorry, 600, fat fingering, 653,400 divided by 43,560. Ooh, he owns 15 acres. So we took the big number, the square footage. 653.4 divided by 43.560 to get the acres. Going from a big number to a small, we divide. Now, ooh, what if they tell us, hey, the farmer owns an eighth of an acre, or your buyer just bought an eighth of an acre. Oh, crap. They used a fraction, but they don't know us, and their real estate business school of Salado already knows what to do with that fraction. Remember, this line here between the one and the eight means to divide. And that way we can figure out what we need to put here. So it's gonna be a little decimal number times 43,560 to figure out how many square feet. So let's figure this out. We have a fraction. That bar in the middle between the one and the eight means to divide. So one divided by eight, where's the eight, there it is, equals 0.125 of an acre. Okay, so let's plug that in. 
two five times 43, 5, 60 is going to give us how many total square feet our farmer owns, has his one-eighth of an acre. So 0 0.125 times 43, 5, 60 equals he owns 5,445 total square feet. Five-eighths of an acre, I'm sorry, one-eighth of an acre, 0.125 of an acre is 5,445 square feet. Hopefully that helps you guys today, and see you soon for the next math lesson.